Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Mises here again, and let's talk convergence and divergence of sequences. So, uh, what's going on with convergence and divergence? Like diver, like divergent, like like the movie, right? Um, divergent means that something goes away and doesn't come together. So, coming together, going towards things, uh, towards the same thing, is called to converge. I'm converging onto something. Diverging means to go away from it. So what we're talking about is if a sequence, as, as a sequence goes on forever, as a sequence goes on forever, does that sequence, do those numbers, do those numbers approach something in that sequence or do they just get bigger and bigger, bigger or negatively bigger, bigger, I guess. Uh, do they just, just not approach something um, or maybe they, they oscillate and never really, like a, like a sign, right? It oscillates and never actually approaches something. So if it doesn't actually approach something, a number, it's called divergent. If, it, uh, if the sequence actually comes closer, it has a limit, then that's called convergent. And that sequence actually converges to whatever that limit is. So what we do is we would take the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n, which is that um, that sequence, that uh, term in that sequence in in the explicit form. And then we decide if that limit existed or not. And whatever that limit exists, it converges to L. If it doesn't exist, then it diverges. Um, so what we want to find out is um, the limit of each of these sequences. So I'm going to give you a couple examples and we'll see if these sequences converge to a number. All right, so, so we're going to go and set up our limit. We're talking about the limit. Oh, come on, guy. The limit as n approaches infinity of b sub n, right? So let's go and do that. The limit as n approaches infinity of n over 1 minus 2n. I'm like looking down at you guys. Blah. Okay. Um, that's going to be... Well, what are we going to do here? Um, that's pretty easy, right? Um, you can use it. If you don't remember how to uh, deal with this and you're like, oh, I don't remember how to do that. Um, you put infinity over infinity, you get, you know, infinity over infinity. You can use L'Hopital's rule if you want. Um, but L'Hopital's rule really isn't necessary here. We've got uh, ends that are the same power here. So we're going to have 1 over negative 2, which is negative 1 half. Okay. So this uh, limit of this sequence is negative one half this sequence converges to negative one half so if a sequence does not have a limit then we say that it diverges all right so um let's determine if these sequence converge or diverge and find the limit so um let's first talk about a sub n um, a sub n in this one, let's see, 3 plus, um, this is, this is going to look like this. Um, a sub 0 is going to give me 1, it's going to give me negative 1. Oh, I don't want a sub 0, sorry, I want a sub 1. Uh, if I put 1 in here, I'm going to get 3 plus negative 1, which is going to give me 2. If I plug in 2, I'm going to get um, 3 plus positive 1, which is going to give me 4. If I plug in 3, that's going to give me 3 plus negative 1, which is 2. If I plug in uh, 4, I'm going to get 3 plus positive 1, which is 4. Do you see what's going on here? This is one that I had just talked about. It's an oscillating. Okay, this is an oscillating sequence. It's going to go 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4. Never going to converge to something, right? So this one, we don't even have to take the limit of this one. We can just say, um, just by looking at these, that this one diverges. So usually when we see an oscillating um, sequence, we can pretty much tell right away if it oscillates, it's going to diverge. Um, let's go and look at this one right here. Um, this one, now we have ln. This one's not going to oscillate, so we are, in fact, going to take a limit. So we're going to do the limit. As n approaches infinity of ln n squared over n. 
Uh, when we plug in this, we are going, well, you know what? Um, let's simplify this. Uh, we can bring the two down here because this is a logarithm, right? So we're gonna have limit as n approaches infinity of two ln of n over n. All right, so what's that gonna do? Um, ln of n over n is going to be um, ln of infinity is going to be infinity and um, infinity over infinity. So we've got a L'Hopital's rule we can use. So I'm going to go and use L'Hopital's rule. Limit as n approaches infinity of 2 times 1 over n and then the derivative of n is just 1. And that's going to give me 2 over n, which is going to go to 0. So this one converges to 0. So we're going to write converges. And that's it. So we just want to know if it converges or diverges. So really, guys, that's all there is to figuring out if a uh, sequence converges or diverges. All right? So those are sequences. And I'll be back with another video talking about some special types of sequences. Later, guys.